We're uh, an organisation based out of London and uh, our primary aim is to promote photography and photographers um, globally and we, we, we want to try and unite what we feel is a rather fragmented industry across all those different disciplines from student photographers through to amateurs and prosumers and professionals but also crossing commercial work, photojournalism, uh, fine art photographers and really sort of bringing in uh, the entire industry under one sort of platform and creating an international platform for those photographers to work. You know, it would be nice to say there was a, a massive grand plan at the beginning and, and, uh, and we all thought about it at the beginning, but it, it sort of evolved and, and as we developed the awards, the Sony World Coffee Awards was our primary um, uh, uh, product at the beginning. Um, we managed to reach out to a lot of people. I think in that first year we had entries from about sort of 200 countries around the world. And it, it really sort of provided this, this wonderful tool where people started to engage and talk. And, and our student program in that first year, we worked with, I think, 10 universities. But this year we worked with 200 universities. So it's one of those programs that just it, it keeps evolving. People are massively passionate about photography, and, 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 and we're equally as passionate about it. And we're, we're, I think we're, we're humble and we listen and, and, and we, we try and talk to that industry and say, what are the next objectives, what are the next goals, and, and if we can facilitate that process, then we can. So it, it, it's, it's one of those ideas that has just, it, it's like you know, sitting on a horse that's just running, you know, and, and we're, we're, we're sort of keeping hold of those reins and just bringing in what we see as valuable segments of the industry to enable us to grow further and ultimately to create this international platform where an industry can thrive, where the practitioners within it have truly a, a versatile global program for their work, where they can get involved with us and, and have their work seen in around the world and, and be, uh, be advised, be, be critiqued, you know, and, um, and, and really help develop photography as a medium so that the wider world appreciates photography more as well. We actually, the whole idea, uh, well, the initial idea we formed in 2005, um, and then we launched it to the world in 2007. So it took two years to kind of wow. build the program and, and, and get that funded and get the business set up and, 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 and work it through. And, and we've, we've just pushed it hard in terms of what we're doing. And the, the whole premise is that it's for photographers. So the plan is that a student of photography could could join us and, and be part of us and, and, and ultimately there's a, a zero cost to that student and they could be involved in our program, be involved in our university program, then they could enter the awards for free and maybe get picked up and come to portfolio reviews and get critiqued and involved with our academy, win an award, become a professional photographer and in 60 years time win our lifetime achievement award, you know, but ultimately their journey through photography can be with us and we can help them through that journey. Um, and and, and, and by, by offering that to the community, I think that's why we've, we've grown so quickly over the past three, four years. I mean, last year we exhibited in uh, Toronto, New York, Mexico, Rio, London, Paris, Berlin, Cologne, Tokyo, Kuala Lumpur, Melbourne, Delhi, um, Hong Kong, I think I missed out Bangkok there. So in, in terms of the programme, we, we, it, it's, a, it's a very international programme and I think that because it's free for people to engage with and for photographers with a genuine output, it's seen us grow so rapidly, much, much more quickly than we thought we would. Oh. Yeah, well, I have to say it, but it's my favourite part of what we do. Um, the, each year we pick a, a, an international charity to work with, and um, the idea is that we use photography to raise awareness on a global issue. So two years ago we worked with uh, Prince Charles um, and uh, his Princess Rainforest project. So good. And um, we, we, we chose a winner for that, uh, an American photographer, Daniel Belcher, a super chat based out of Seattle. And um, he, we sent him as his prize to the Congo, Indonesia, the Amazon, photograph effects of deforestation. Prince Charles then used those images in a book which he gave to world leaders at the UN Conference of Climate Change. Uh -huh. This year uh, we worked with UNICEF. Um, and we've just uh, flown six winners, one from each continent, all photography students, to the UNICEF mission in Ethiopia, where they've engaged with the kids there and taught photography. Um, and it's raising, it, it raising the profile of the UNICEF program, which wow. was 20 years of children's rights. That sounds very exciting.
Yeah, it's very exciting for the photographers. Yeah, it's brilliant, and it's it, 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 it's great for photographers because they get special documentary experience as well. Yeah. But it's also yeah. it's super for charity because it it creates imagery about the work they're doing and creates press and creates awareness. And we have thousands of images submitted from people all over the world into the UNICEF project, and they all committed a pledge, which then UNICEF used in, in their own materials to to, to really sort of engage with with photographers and using imagery to. So basically using the power of imagery to kind of get across their message. Wow. San Francisco, London, Sao Paulo, Shanghai, in this first year, this is the first year in San Francisco. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the festivals are a way to engage directly then with the photographers and to give that platform. The intention is that it, it, the, the, the festival is for the national market. So London, the, the festival's there, we exhibit in Trafalgar Square, and the festival's in Somerset House. Um, it, 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 it's a huge sort of presence, it's kind of our home market, so we understand it really well. But we don't think photography students are going to fly in from America to come right. to London, right. Right? Or, or, or amateurs even, or even necessarily professionals, and they're certainly not going to fly in from Tokyo or, or Indonesia or somewhere. So the aim is to create these festivals in the market so that photographers can get to the market. So we will, we've launched one in San Francisco, obviously, and this is the first time we're here, and, and it's for the American market. So it's not just for the Bay Area, you know, it's about how San Francisco photographers can, can get their work shown internationally, and that's part of the topic and part of the conversation, but it's also about, you know, photographers for the whole of America. The one in Sao Paulo is for Latin America, um, and the one in London is for Europe, and the one in Shanghai is for Asia. In time, um, we will also look to develop one in Melbourne and one in Moscow, um, just to start getting that program out there. Now, our objective then is to start engaging and linking those festivals. So if you're a San Francisco-based photographer, and you engage with our program, you get involved in the festival, but also you should then be able to show your work and engage in the festival in Sao Paulo and the festival in Shanghai. And it, it just gives that platform for people to have their work viewed internationally. Because it's, it's quite a concept, you know, for a photographer. I think it's probably more prevalent in the US about how to get your work shown internationally. It's easy if you're in Europe yeah, because yeah. France is next door to Spain and it's a drive in a car and you're there. And it's, it's harder for American photographers, to, to, I think, to do that. Uh, probably not harder, but just conceptually it, it might be harder. So and conceptually, that, I, yeah. that's a good way so, to put so it. So it's just a case of how the festival is aimed at it enabling people to do that. So you get involved with the awards, win awards, get our programs, get reviewed, um, and then start engaging with us and having your work shown. And then if we can get residency programs, especially with the students, to start reflecting in all the different festivals, we then start to tie in the world of photography and, and bring that, that platform together. That's a long-term objective. We're, we're, we're year one for the festival at the moment. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, but it's, long it's, way to go. That's the, that's the plan, which hopefully in the next few years it will see develop and, and, and and engage more and more people. The uh, activities that are going on here, portfolio review? Portfolio reviews, workshops, exhibitions, seminars, talks. It, 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 the idea is that it's for people who want to learn and educate themselves and be educated and kind of master the skills, but also to learn about, you know, there's some great talks by ISOC, you know, about, you know, monetizing photography. Now, stock photography is an emotive subject for photographers, but there's a revenue to be made there, and some people maybe need to look at that and, and address that and say, okay, well, I want to make a living. And I've had some wonderful conversations over the years with professional photographers, and I always think the most fascinating part is the bit at the beginning, you know, how did they start? And it always involves a dedication. It always involves a, you know what, I just had to make a decision to keep committed and keep pressing forward, and the money wasn't rolling in, and you know, I had to keep going and keep fighting because I love the subject, I love the medium, and I'm committed to it. And, and that's tough sometimes in the world, you know, so we need, to, we need to enable photographers to understand there are other things out there and how to make a living in photography. So that's part of the festival as well. It's not just about taking better pictures, it's about being within the industry, working within the industry, you know, finding a living through the industry, but ultimately staying in the industry because it is a great industry. Yes, it is.